Hi, my name is Brittany Raffner, and I'm a graduate from Cal State Channel Islands, where I majored in environmental science and resource management. I heard through your presentation you work for the Seafood Watch program, and I think that's amazing. For my capstone project, I researched whether or not location has to do with a customer's likelihood to purchase sustainable seafood. I would love to discuss with you more about what factors you have found that influence a customer's choice to shop sustainably. Here's my card. Uh, good, Brittany. Uh, good. So uh, I liked the um, uh, energy. That was good. Uh, it could be even a little bit more uh, inflection, a little bit more tone variation here and there. Um, at 29 seconds, so you're you're about right in terms of the the, the speed and everything. But I want to hear what you did. So again, set up what you, you know. So we talked about oh, you worked for this thing, and I did this project like that. But what did you find? So need that hook deeper, deeper set. Um, okay, cool. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jeremy Ruiz. I'm an environmental science and resource management major over at Cal State Channel Islands. Uh, I am currently doing research on sustainability, specifically seafood sustainability. I am doing a research project on the preference, favorite preference of, of Ventura County and where the favorite seafood is. Uh, I really like your presentation on sustainable uh, practices and techniques we can implement in the agricultural field. I was wondering if I could get your contact information and maybe we could discuss this further. Okay, Jeremy. Uh, so, um, uh, remember, everything is written from the perspective of May. So, uh, I graduated as a um, uh, you know, ESRM major, or um, uh, I just finished my my degree in environmental science and resource management, something like that. Um, but but you, you aren't currently a major, right? We're writing this for the perspective of you uh, post-graduation. Um, and then again, tell me what you did. So tell me what you did. So you talked all around what you were looking at, but you didn't say what you found and, and what was surprising, what was, what was uh, not surprising, what have you. Um, uh, 35 seconds, so a little bit long. So very good sort of presence, very good conversational style. I liked it a lot, um, but d make sure you have it memorized. So you did seem to be kind of going some points and then kind of, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. And then to go here, have to have it all memorized, 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 muscle memory, muscle memory, muscle memory. Okay. Hi, I'm Annalise Seridine and I'm a senior environmental science and resource management major at Cal State Channel Islands. I'm very interested in restoring and maintaining the coast, specifically California's beaches. This past year, I've been analyzing the effects of coastal access blockage on California surfers, and I would love to talk more about suggestions you may have on how to best conduct projects that help maintain our coasts while limiting the impact they have on local surfers and recreational beachgoers. All right, cool. Um, uh, so I, I liked it uh, in terms of uh, the overall um, um, brightness and, and energy and 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 all that was good. Um, but again, Emily, I, I need to hear what you what you what you found. What was the the key hook? So I was surprised to find that um, um, it was really surprising that blah 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 blah. I didn't foresee blah, 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 right? That kind of stuff. So that's what we want to get in there. Make sure you get that in before you get all the other padding and all the other um, stuff going on. Um, okay, cool. All right. Hi, my name is Mitran Shabanoglu, and I'm a recent graduate from California State University Channel Islands, where I pursued a bachelor's degree in environmental science and resource management. However, my ultimate goal is to become a climate scientist in order to communicate ideas of sea level rise to the public. For example, I've been able to identify trends among sea level rise and present their effects to the surfing community through my senior capstone. And I was able to catch your presentation regarding alternative methods to hard engineering. And I was wondering if you had some time to discuss the uh, use of artificial reefs when it comes to coastal protection. Okay, good. Um, so uh, again, very good uh, presence, very good conversational, relaxed. I liked it a lot. Um, uh, like the way you sort of tied it into a community, tied it into surfing, but but needed one more one more bit about how um, it would harm, how sea level rise would harm surfers, or or um, would in the long term decrease surfing opportunities, or or something of that nature. 
um, uh, that that would just sort of complete it. And um, yeah, okay, good, all right. Hey there, my name is Jesse Shelton and I'm a recent graduate from CSU Channel Islands with a degree in environmental science and resource management. I saw your talk on coastal management and I had to come over and talk to you about it. I actually did my senior project on beach sustainability and what type of beaches people prefer to go to. I'm super interested in coastal geomorphology and beach management and would love to talk to you more about it. Would you be free later today to let me pick your brain about coastal management? Um, cool, Jesse. Okay, thanks. Uh, good. You can always just offer the card. Here's my card. Love to talk with you later today if you have time, right? So, so always offer that card um, at, as a as an option. Um, uh, yeah. So again, talked about what you did. Didn't tell me what you found. I need to. I need to hear the hook. I need to hear your insight. I need to hear your your new contribution. Um, uh, but yeah, but overall, I, I liked your person per personability and and the the varied. Uh, it wasn't monotone, so that was that was good. Um, okay, cool. Hi, my name is Chris Swan. I'm a senior environmental science and resource management major at Cal State Channel Islands. I have a particular interest in secluded island habitats and spent three weeks on Santa Rosa Island for field school. I heard your talk on how island scrub jays could be used to naturally repopulate the oak groves on Santa Rosa Island. I was wondering if you had any internships available soon. Here's my business card. Okay. Um, okay, good. So that was definitely a, a pushing for the job hire. Um, so that's okay. Although that might not always be the context that we're, that we're working on. So um, I would sort of save that sort of more of a hard, hard ask kind of thing to uh, uh for if that if that's the case i wouldn't have that be the default every time i talk about my research say hey i'm wondering if you have a job um so i would i would, I would tweak it a little bit like that uh chris and then um uh you you were a major i i just recently graduated i have a bachelor of science uh, from cal state channel islands you know so past tense past tense um uh yeah and so so if you're going to talk about the island, you know, talk about like how important the island is to the scrub jay or whatever, right? So again, you need the hook, need a conclusion, need a need a something that says you're not just someone that read a book about this, that you actually contributed to learning about this subject. Okay, cool. Hi, my name is Maddie Tingle, and I'm a recent graduate from California State University Channel Islands in the Environmental Science and Resource Management Program. I'm looking into a career in project management or coordination. I've experienced running logistics and planning for many school events at my college. I'm also a researcher in climate change and climate change mitigation. I heard you're doing a similar project and I would love to chat about it. Okay, Maddie, so uh, good energy, very personable cool like that you're standing away from the computer so it's more more of us seeing you as opposed to sitting down um at, at a at a desk so that's good um uh good description but i think a little maybe too much about your background right so you didn't get to the fact that you're a researcher and, and making new contributions to stuff until the last eight seconds right so almost everything was lead up lead up lead up it should be the reverse right so i want want to hear about your unique contributions, what you, something unique that you've done. So I've gained this insight into this system. Um, I was surprised to find this. Um, it, uh, I was surprised to find I didn't find this, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, so let's, so let's work on, on what your hook is um, as opposed to a, a big resume um, pitch in there, right? Remember these elevator things are an invitation to talk more. These, these elevator pitches are not a, a give my resume. It's let me show you that I'm interesting. Let me show you that I can bring something valuable. Let me show you that I have a unique perspective, um, I'm not sort of, you know, padding up your experience. Okay, cool. All right. Um, all right. Thanks, Maddie. 
Hi, my name is Jennifer Torres and have a bachelor's degree in environmental science and resource management. I heard your seminar earlier today and was really interested in the environmental justice topic. I myself was considering um, joining that field. I got a minor in political science and communication to help me with that, but I just wanted a little more insight from somebody who actually has worked and has experience with that. So I was just wondering if you had any like feedback, any recommendations um, for someone who's freshly like joining that field. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, uh, good. Oops, kill. So, so good personability, good intonation, variation, um, rapport, all that stuff is great. Um, uh, good angle, which is sort of like, hey, I'm new and I'm I'm new to here. Uh, love to get your experience. Is the more. Um, you know, uh, older or more exper or more more um, worldly person, so that that's good. But again, more about what what Jen did, right? More of what you did, more of what your unique uh, insights have been able to unearth, kind of thing. That's what I want to see. Make sure we have that hook in there somewhere. Um, other than that, good. All right, thanks, Jen. Hi, my name is Zachary Robbie, and I'm a senior environmental science and resource management major at California State University Channel Islands. My specific interest is in coastal geomorphology and the policies related to it. Right now, I'm currently investigating if short-term bluff erosion can be measured using drone technology with GIS software, and I'm doing my capstone project on how coastal management practices are perceived by the public in order to inform policymaking. I've read some of your work on this topic and would love to discuss your findings if you have the time to later on. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Zach, good, good, good overall content, but I think a little bit too fast. So you came in at 25 seconds. So you have a little more space or a little more time, excuse me, to, to, that you can work with. Um, so I think let's cut out a little bit. I think we can summarize. I think we can, we can tighten up some of that. So, um, I've been looking at, uh, you know, geomorphology using a variety of, of tools, um, including drones, etc. cetera. Uh, one thing I've, I've recently discovered is, right, so you can sort of cut to the chase without having to sentence, sentence, sentence in terms of setup and background. You can jump right into it. Um, uh, yeah, then the only other thing I, I had a note on was um, I, I, I just recently graduated as a major. I, don't say that I am a major or I am studying. I just completed my studies. I just graduated from, I'm a, I'm a recent um, a, alumna uh, alum of you know that kind of thing um all right cool thanks zach hello i am joel williamson a recent graduate from csu channel islands with a bachelor's in environmental science and resource management my passion is to create efficient ways of managing resources to better help people and the environment the resource i've been focusing on for the past year is money and its relationship with variable beach characteristics in order to make smarter ecological and economic coastal budgeting decisions I'd love to discuss your recent findings on the Beach Sustainability Index, if you have some time later. Okay. All right, good. Uh, good. I, I like the standing up. I like, I like the blazer. Uh, professional. All good. Uh, I like the, the, the variation in, in tone of, of delivery. Um, seem, seem natural, so that's good. I liked all that. Um, liked how you worked in the, the economics and in, in, you know, got to the economics. But I, I was I was hoping to hear one at least little bit about about not just that I studied the relationship, but actually what was what was one of my uh, insights or one of my surprises that I found. Um, cool. All right, thanks, dude. Keep it up. Keep practicing. Hi, my name is Megan Yim, and I'm a recent graduate from Cal State Channel Islands with a major in environmental science and resource management and a minor in chemistry. My senior year, I had the opportunity to do research on the accessibility to natural areas based on household income within the Ventura, Santa Barbara, and LA County. I then determined if the amount of visits to natural areas impacted overall evaluation. Do you think your place in the socioeconomic class structure has impacted your amount of visits to natural areas? Okay, Megan. Cool. I, I like that last question. That last question was good. I liked it. I want. I wanted to hear that, but maybe in the front, maybe in the front of the of the talk, sort of lead with that. Maybe. Hey, uh, uh, Megan, I've been looking at these various things, and um, uh, I'm curious. Do you think that 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 your uh, economic status has impacted, or do you think your um, financial security has impacted your frequency of going to um, natural areas? Get the answer. 
Um, well, what I actually found is blah, 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 right? So, so more of that dialogue. So, um, so good. I liked it. Um, uh, uh, I, I, I liked your, your, um, warmth and your, your personality coming through there. So that was good. But, um, uh, one thing I just noted, and this was with several folks, uh, uh, several folks' um, um, presentations, is that uh, um, you know I had the opportunity to. No, you are a researcher. I didn't give you the opportunity. You are a researcher. So, so I've recently been studying. I've been curious about this. I started to look at this. I found this right. So. So you don't need to ask my permission or Dr. Ryman's permission or, or any other professor's per permission. You are a scholar. You are a smart lady and you did this on your own, right? So that's how, that's how we should be, right? To grab it and, and own it kind of thing. Um, yeah, on that, uh, just keep practicing. And, and, and uh, I, liked, I liked your tack with the question, but maybe just word it uh, <laughs> in, a, in a slightly different way or try, change some of the order, but, but great idea. Awesome. Thanks, you guys.